SoapCentral.com presents the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From the Pasadena Civic Center in Pasadena, California, it's your host, Dan Kroll. This is, as I said, this is like the greatest form of improv in the history of ever is the red carpet. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Because I have no idea who's coming or when they're coming. I have no idea what I'm going to say, except for now. Right. I give people, uh, the first time I talk to them on the red carpet, I give them a chance to tell me everything that's happened since the last time I chatted with them. I haven't chatted with you before, so no. tell me everything that has gone on with your character. I'm sure there's a couple of things uh, in the last couple of years. Hey. How deep a breath do I need to take to get this out? And, and how, how long how long is this show? 30 seconds. All right, well, go. I've got my wife. Well, no, not wife at the time. See, so I've already screwed up. Uh, she, I prescribed her drugs as an opioid addictor, fell in love with her, decided not to be her doctor. We then rekindled our love. She cheated on me with her ex-husband. I then, uh, we then had, a, they had a baby together. We, thought it was his turned out it was actually mine so that all worked out and then I have a lot of mommy issues so just uh, I don't have enough time that's it I can't do it anymore I'm out of steam. but you're here I'm out of steam man yeah one of the other things that uh, we've been doing because of the fact that you know it's been so long since there's been a red carpet I'm giving everyone who I talk to the chance to sort of freestyle you can uh, ask me a question, you can speak to someone who you might want to give a message to, you can talk to the fans, anything that you want, it's your time, it's have at it. It's my time? I want to know more about you. Oh, okay. So yeah, how long have you been here? Yeah, doing red carpets. This is your first time? This is my 24th I know. daytime Please. Emmy's red I know, carpet. I know who you are, that's why I'm <laughs> busting your balls. I mean, it's nuts to be able to, to say that. I've been, I've been, 1999 was my first one. Where, what, oh my God, I don't even want to know amazing. the answer to this, but what were you doing in 1999? I was, I was, I was in grade school in Canada, in a nice small town, 500 people, farming. The interview is over. It's great. <laughs> what were you farming? Well, wheat and canola in Canada. Yeah, 2,000 acres. Grew up on a farm. So I guess then the, the apple or the avocado doesn't fall far from the tree because while you were farming there, yeah. uh, Kimberlyn is uh, oh, an my, avocado My mom, farmer. that is true, yeah. Actually, we have an avocado tree at our house and I didn't know what it was and I had to ask for advice from her <laughs> because there's green avocados and I didn't know that and so she, she educated me on it, so that's good. And now avocados for days. I've never had one and I'm not sure if I should tell her this or not. Well, she's going to make you try it, so, but, yeah. I mean, she you're doesn't have... You're setting yourself up for this. She doesn't have one in her purse, so I I'm safe. Wheat, I have wheat in my pocket. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Listen, it's, it's the daytime babies. Anything is possible. Um, speaking of things that are possible, uh, some of the other folks who could not be here hmm. today have submitted questions that they would like me to ask people as they wander by. Okay. Well, you have an easy job. You don't have to ask any questions, and you make other people do your... You are a veteran. All right. Pick a card. Always the middle one. Oh. What is your go-to go word when you can't This curse? This is really good for me because I have a, a three-year-old daughter and a two-week-year-old baby. So I've been practicing this. And I kind of just do the Joe Pesci home alone, like, gibberish. So that's your... That's it. I, mean, I don't know how we, we spell that, but... Yeah. That yeah. Anything else? You know, I mean, it's, it's funny because, you know, uh, you never know what to expect on a red carpet. And sure enough, um, somehow it all falls into place. Does it? Does it? I mean, I have to I'll say that the there, edit. <laughs> there, <laughs> there are people who are watching, this. they're like, you know... Uh, <laughs> they come to expect that anything is possible. That is true. I like to, that's a good way to. That's a good motto. I dig that. <laughs> it's somewhere on my uh, my tag. I'm gonna no, let you because there are other people who want to talk to you. I think so, man. I mean, nice they you, don't want to talk to me or anything, but <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I, don't know if, I don't know if we're like, supposed to shake hands. We're not gonna shake oh, hands. God. I don't want to get yelled at. All right, escort me away. All right, bye bye. Bye.